Yeah. Mm-hmm. The book of Joel? Yeah. Uh, uh, be ye ashamed, yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. O ye husbandmen. <laughs> How, O ye vine dressers, for the wheat and for the barley, <laughs> because the harvest of the field is perished. <laughs> The vine is dried up, and the fig tree languisheth, the pomegranate tree, and the palm tree also, and the apple tree. (laughs) Even all the trees of the field are withered, because joy is withered away from the sons of men. (laughs) Gird yourselves and lament, ye priests, howl, (laughs) ye ministers of the altar. Come, lie all night in sackcloth, ye ministers of my God, (laughs) for the meat offering and the drink offering is withholden from the house of your God. Now, um, I just wanted you to understand, yes, this uh, 2,000 year celebration, yeah, would Jesus eat barbecue? Pooch, I know that was what you were thinking about. I'm thinking, okay, that somebody decided to make all kinds of laws that are completely unnecessary <laughs> because they, oh, well, I think we should incinerate anything and everything that you would have recycled. Yes, that happens to be worth less than fifty dollars. Yes, I think we should incinerate all pig shit. <laughs> now I do have a use for cow manure mm-hmm. and chicken manure. Yes, and this human nutrient that you keep ignoring, that we keep treating, that is approximately twenty-five percent paper products. Yes. I think we should be incinerating it. I mean, if you dried it out, yes. Are you telling me it won't burn? Yes. Do you realize the actual... <laughs> I know, at 2,500 degrees, it takes a quite a long time to to dry out a, a, a ton, 2,000 pounds of human nutrient that has a 25% consistent. You know, there is the possibility that this carbon tax system... Yeah. It's all bullshit. Pooch! Now, let's say, yes, that you decided to go a different direction and I decided to have a 2,000-year celebration. (laughs) For every state... Well, I dislike the thought of the United States looking like this where the vine is dried up. Yes. The fig tree languisheth. Mm. The pomegranate tree. (laughs) The palm tree also and the apple tree. And all the trees of the field are withered. (laughs) Now, this withering of the actual... I have some, I have a very special genetics. See, uh, Edward Budnick and Clara Holtz, they had a baby named Paul Douglas Budnick. Yes. Then there's Sandra Taylor. Yes, that was Sandra Condit. Yes, she was adopted. Her actual original name is Sandra Arp. Yes, Sandra Lee Arp. <laughs> and my biological grand, uh, grandfather. Yes, my biological grandmother. Mm-hmm. Now, I know of your fraud. <laughs> And you thought that I was just going to let you keep doing what you're doing. And you said there was no way I would sue you as a state in every state. You know, these Indians, yes, they have reservations. And I thought I would manufacture all kinds of innovations that would employ them. And they were like, well, are we getting paid minimum wage? Are we getting paid union? Do, you know, what, what are we going to get paid? The way I start a business is they all end up being union. <laughs> But I don't start them as a union business because I actually have not uh, manufactured anything. Mm-hmm. After five to oh seven years, yes, of the manufacturing taking place, I set aside the reserves necessary from the profitability of the wholesale manufacturing. Yes, so as to set up a slush fund that supports the actual pen and the the, the pension and benefits of those that are employees. <laughs> now, let's say you're an Indian. <laughs> You're out there. You're watching various animals have sex with each other. Yes. Do you find that offensive? No. <laughs> Let's say you wanted to be in agriculture. <laughs> I do not send a check to any Indian on any reservation. All of the money that I pay in a flat tax has to go for the land management of the reservation for future generations. <laughs> now, you might have preferential uh, employment for agricultural livestock. Yes. But anybody can work in manufacturing. It's one of those jobs where you go there, you do whatever the job is. Mm -hmm. You might get on, and then you understand that we're going to unionize. And I'm big on unions, but I'm only unionized after I have enough money to support the fucking unionization.
I know. It's genetics. It's breeding. A large number of Indians have been breeding each other for a few thousand years. Do you remember who your first great-grandfather was? <laughs> for all of those that are Indians, <laughs> did the pig happen within the last 200 years? <laughs> you know, um, I'm not saying don't eat pork, but if you eat beef or chicken, yeah. Do you think that the actual meat products... Oh, look at you, Mr. Horse. <laughs> you... <laughs> No. <laughs> now listen here, okay? Okay. <laughs>